Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So the YouTube video that's titled, This is the Optimal Exercise Routine, Sports Cardiologist, that was produced by the YouTube channel Found My Fitness Clips, is eight minutes and 26 seconds in duration. Let's break it down and let's just look at the key points. And please remember now that I've semi-retired, I get to watch between 20 and 30 longevity type videos most days, as well as reading articles, blogs, scientific studies, and listening to podcasts when I exercise. And I only review the videos like this one that I believe are gonna give good longevity value. So although it is a critique of her original video, it's certainly not a negative criticism. In this video, Dr. Rhonda Patrick discusses with Dr. Benjamin Levine, a sports cardiologist, the best exercise practices for longevity and cardiovascular health. They start with the importance of exercise as personal hygiene, saying that exercise needs to be an integral part of the daily routine, similar to brushing your teeth or taking a shower, so as to maintain cardiovascular health and prevent age-related diseases. Consistent exercise habits treated as essential personal hygiene practices ensure long-term fitness and reduce the risk of chronic illnesses. They then move on to the type of sessions. Firstly, they cover long sessions. These should be at least one exercise session per week. It should last for over an hour and it should be enjoyable, such as a long walk, a bike ride, or even dancing. These longer sessions help build endurance and make exercising a fun and sustainable activity. They then tackle high intensity sessions. They say that incorporating one high intensity session per week such as the 4x4 method, this is four minutes at 95% effort, followed by three to four minutes of recovery, and you normally do this four times. They say this can significantly improve your aerobic power. They say moderate intensity training is efficient and beneficial for those looking to maximize their workout results in a shorter period of time. They then switch to moderate intensity sessions, saying that two or three sessions per week should be of moderate intensity. Each should last at least 30 minutes, allowing for a balance of exercise intensities. Moderate intensity exercise is more manageable and can be consistently maintained, contributing to overall cardiovascular fitness. They then switch to strength training, here they say that strength training should be done at least one or two days per week. It can include activities like Pilates, strength yoga, and or traditional weightlifting. This type of exercise is crucial for building and maintaining skeletal muscle strength, which does support overall physical health. They then address the topic of adaptation and variety in exercises. They state that the human body adapts best to varied exercise routines rather than repetitive activities. Making different types of exercises prevents fitness plateaus and promotes continual improvement. A varied exercise regimen is essential for overall health and keeps the workouts interesting and also engaging. They then tackle the subject of training for health versus training for performance. Training routines should align with your personal goals whether that be for maintaining general health or for preparing for some kind of competition. For general health, a balanced routine will suffice, but competitive training requires more intensive and more frequent sessions. Then it's on to cardiorespiratory fitness and also longevity. Higher levels of cardiorespiratory fitness indicated by VO2 max is associated with lower mortality risk and better longevity outcomes. Cardiorespiratory fitness can mitigate age-related declines in function and support a healthier, longer life. 